Hey there, this is Coach Rylan. I've got some really great stretches and some exercises for you to do before and during your flight. Now this is gonna help you remain limber, keep the blood flowing, help you burn a few calories and keep your metabolism up even if you're on a long duration flight of five hours or more. You can find all the details for this workout, all the exact sets and reps for everything in your March issue of Well Bella magazine which is available at your local GNC. Kneel down with one knee, the other knee comes up and your legs at 90 degrees. This is really important. Now keep your hips nice and square and all you're going to do here is lean forward. So you're pushing your hips forward while keeping your back straight. You're not leaning forward like this or leaning back. Just keep your torso straight. Use the chair for support. Thrust your hips forward. You're going to feel the stretch in the front of your thigh. It can be anywhere from the top of the knee all the way up, but that's where you want to feel it right in there. Now you go gently until you get that stretch. Once you get that stretch, you then lean your torso to the opposite side. In my case, I'm leaning to the right and that stretch should move up into your torso a little bit. So again, thrust your hips forward till you get a bit of a stretch, lean to the opposite side and just hold that. Hold that for 30 seconds and then you're going to do the same on the other legs. So what I want you to do is actually lean up against a wall. And the reason for this is because most people do a standing quad stretch without anything to balance on. Now it doesn't matter if you are very balanced. What happens is that the muscles actually tighten up to keep you in balance, therefore they don't stretch adequately. So lean up against a wall, grab your ankle or your foot with the opposite arm. So if my right quad is stretching, it's my left arm that's grabbing. Keep your torso nice and straight. Again, don't lean forward here or don't lean back. And then just pull up gently on that ankle until you feel a stretch in your front quad here. Now like that. But the easiest way and the, and the least conspicuous way to do a hamstring stretch is simply by putting your heel out. So take one leg, lock out your knee, rest on your heel. This other leg can be bent you're just going to put your hands behind your back if that's comfortable for you. Keep your back very straight and that's the key to the stretch. You have to keep your back straight and then all you do is just lean forward slightly from your waist only. So you're not hunching forward with your back here. Your back is straight. All the movement is happening at the waist. So again, your heel is out, your back is straight and then you just tilt forward from the waist and it won't take much and you'll feel that stretch pull right through your hamstring. So you just hold that there for 30 seconds and you're going to repeat on the other side. Okay, so now we're moving on to your in-flight exercises. Now these are muscle strengthening and toning exercises that you can do in your seat and nobody's going to know you're doing any exercises. Again, all the best exercises in the world are going to be completely useless if you won't do them and no one's going to do exercises on a plane if they feel like everyone's staring at them and acting like a goof. So you, these are isometric exercises, meaning that there's no movement happening, but the muscle is locking on. If you imagine pushing against an immovable wall, the muscles are working, but there's no movement happening. And that's what we're going to simulate here. So the first exercise that you're going to do is a cross leg hamstring curl and quad extension. So all you do in your seat here is you sit nice and straight. You cross your legs over top of each other. Now what you do here is you're going to pull back with the leg that's on top and push forward with the leg that's on bottom. So this leg is pulling, this leg is pushing. So we're doing a hamstring curl and a quad extension at the same time. No movement's going to happen and you're just going to get that isometric contraction but it will work really well. So all you're going to do is press and you're going to press as hard as you can against each other. And you're going to hold that for a count of 5 to 10 as much as you can, 10 being the maximum. So you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze up to 10 seconds and then relax. Relax for about the equal amount of time, so five to ten seconds. You repeat that again, so you squeeze, contract those muscles. Again, the person sitting next to you is not going to have any idea that you're even doing any exercise, but you will be working these muscles to a great extent. So squeeze those muscles, relax, and then repeat. Again, you can find all the repetitions in the actual workout instructions in the Well Bella magazine for March issue. So what you want to do is imagine that you're pinching a penny between your glutes, okay? And you do this with your feet flat on the floor, sitting up really straight. And again, you're not going to notice anything. The person beside you is not going to notice that you're doing butt clenches, but these work really well for toning your glutes, tighten them up, and also help flushing blood through the legs, which is a, another really important aspect of this. So you just sit up tight, squeeze, clench your glutes as hard as you can, like really squeeze as hard as you can. Imagine pinching that penny and then relax. And you're just going to do the repetitions again that are listed in the magazine. And that is your butt clenches. 
Now the last exercise is an ab squeeze. Now this is going to work all your abdominal muscles and again no movement is actually happening here. So in this case what you want to do is actually hunch forward a little bit. Now th most people have a posture like this anyway so you're going to kind of hunch forward just a little bit and as you do that you're going to tighten as hard as you can all your abdominal muscles as if you're getting ready for somebody to punch you in the stomach. So you tighten up, you clench and what you're going to notice it's going to be a little hard to breathe while you do this. So you're going to do shallow exhalation. So what that means is as you tighten you're blowing out every time so you do of course you don't have to do it that loud you can do that silently but I just want you to be able to hear that so you relax and then you clench your stomach muscles breathing out in succession so every time you breathe out your stomach muscles are going to tighten up a little bit more relax and repeat Okay, so now we're going to move on to the in-flight stretches. We've already done the in-flight strengthening exercises, now we're going to do a bit of stretching. Now, if you're following my nutritional guidelines in the magazine, you'll notice that I want you drinking a lot of water. Again, you have to drink a lot of water in an airplane because it's like a giant dehumidifier, so you're going to get dehydrated really quickly, and there's nothing that can sap your energy and your health faster than becoming dehydrated. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Now, the second reason is it's going to make you get up and go to the bathroom frequently. So that gets you up, gets your blood moving, so you're not going to be stuck in that seat and cramped up for the whole duration of the flight. When you get up and use the washroom, you're going to do these stretches while you're waiting. And what you're going to start with is a cross leg hamstring stretch. Hamstrings are going to be really tight from sitting a long duration. And this is another stretch that you can do and, and nobody's really going to know you're even stretching. So while you're waiting for the restroom, just cross your legs one in front of the other. I'm going to sit up nice and straight. This is really important. You got to get a really straight back. And then all you do is keep your back straight and then just tilt forward until you get a stretch in the back leg. So what that looks like from the side, you just cross one leg over the other, back is really straight, and then you basically just push your butt back and stretch forward. And then you're gonna get a stretch down the back leg. So all you do is you put your feet right together. This is really important. You want your lower body nice and straight, and you cross your arms across your chest, and then you're just gonna take your left elbow and you're gonna rotate it at least 90 degrees to the left as far as you can and hold that for only 10 seconds. So you stretch, hold that for 10 seconds. Now don't bounce. You don't want to be pulling. You just hold it at a comfortable stretch for about 10 seconds. Back to center for just a moment and then rotate the opposite direction here. You should feel this anywhere between your lower back all the way up your spine. So wherever your muscles are tightest, that's where you're going to feel it. So again, cross the arms rotate, hold for 10 seconds, back to center for a moment, and then opposite direction, 10 seconds again. By putting your hands behind your back, and you're going to push your shoulders down and lift your chest up. Now as you do that, so you're lifting your chest up, pulling your shoulders back and down, and you take your hands and you push them towards the floor. So essentially you're extending your arms towards the floor behind your back. So again, chest goes up, shoulders back and down, and then push down with your hands. And you just stretch your torso out like this. You're basically lifting your chest upwards and then strengthening and lengthening your back. So this all happens kind of at one motion like this, stretching and holding that. So push those hands down, lift the chest up and pull those shoulders back. And that is going to combat all of that bad posture that you'll have from sitting in a seat.